you know, I was hoping for the pink tape. That's what I wanted today. I knew I wasn't going to get it because I know he said recently it can't come out before. He was going to say before Halloween, then he's like, actually, right, no, it's not happening. But I've been waiting. <coughs> what the fuck? I've been waiting for Solo Uzi for so goddamn long. It has been way too long. Um, I really want this man to drop a new album. He's coming with the pink tape, which is a mixtape very soon. Um, but thankfully, rather than just being like, oh, it's not coming out today, sorry, and then doing nothing, he was like, it's not coming out, but here's a single. He gave his Demon High, which I think was released as a snippet. Um, what, From my impression, it was a song he performed live, whether I think that was at like a Rolling Loud or something. Um, I know he performed some of the Pink Tape live. Um, we've heard some snippets. I've kind of avoided it. The biggest reason why I've avoided it is because I wanted for a track to come out fully to kind of know what he's doing with this. Because I can tell from what he's talked about, from what he's done, he's doing something very, like, different here. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be Eternal I Take. It's not going to be Love is Rage 2. It's going to be a little different. Um, and that's what I'm excited for. Um, I love Uzi. I think he's one of the best trap artists of all time. He's incredibly entertaining. Um, and I'm really, really excited for his new project. Um, praying that comes out in November. I wouldn't be surprised if it, I wouldn't be, I would be surprised if it didn't come out in November, but at least by the end of 2021, right? It sounds like it's pretty much in the final stages. So, um, yeah, but, um, let's hear this, uh, Demon High, Lulu Vert. Um, yeah, let's see what he got for the pink tape. I hope this is on the pink tape because I really want to get a taste of what the sound of that project is. Let's go. That's a, this is pop right now. This is a pop sound. Ooh, his vocals sound on point here. On point. It's a very upbeat sound. I really like it. Okay, um, new Uzi's really good. I really like that. Um, that was a very upbeat, happy, catchy sound to it. I didn't notice though. So it sounds kind of more pop centered and that makes sense because it's the pink tape, but I'm kind of sitting here now like, I wonder what he's going to do with that. Like, how far are you going to take that sound? Um, and I, I fully have the confidence Uzi can take this sound. I fully think he, he is. A, he has, there's nothing outside. It's not some, it's something outside of his talents to be able to do that. Um, I really like that though. I really like the energy to it. It was very fun. It was very upbeat. It wasn't aggressive and dark. I don't know. I kind of appreciated it. Um, I, I actually really think that's a good single. Um, I'm very excited for the project. I'm more excited now. Um, overall, I actually really like it. I don't have a ton to say, but I think I think it, I think it was it wasn't what I expected, but it definitely shows me the interesting direction I think he'll be taking uh, the pink tape, and I honestly can't wait. Um, hopefully, that's in the next couple weeks. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I just moved my tripod back to it. Um, what do you guys think on this new project? Let me in the comment section below. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace out. Uh, reviews this weekend's, you know, I'm gonna guess a little bit. Um, we got new uh, ASAP Rocky, Ed Sheeran, uh, fucking Megan Thee Stallion, IDK, Big Sean. Yeah. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.